Hello everyone, this is Joe, Four Soft Corners here, and for today's video I'm going to show off the, uh, the third part of my pickups from um, this past uh, weekend overall. Um, some of these are going to be from my LCS, and some are going to be from the card show I attended and set up at, and picked some stuff up at. So This is mainly going to be autos and relics. Um, but then I have just a couple of football cards to start here, which is not something I normally pick up, but uh, found a pretty decent value box and got everything in a good deal and then ended up with one auto. So that's why I coupled that with this, but um, two pickups here, um, newest Eagle, DeAndre Swift, um, just with <laughs> all the Georgia Bulldogs are picking up and that was kind of cool in the um, Georgia uniform and um, so pick those two up um, there's a Jalen Hurts rookie from Luminance I was going to say I think it's from the so I think the regular Luminance, they're in their college uniforms. So this is the Luminance out of Chronicles. But I, you know, not buying it to invest or anything like that. I just thought it was cool. It was like a dollar. So I'm actually happy he's in the Eagles uniform there. Uh, this 2005 Elite, Elite Teams. This is Donovan McNabb, Terrell Owens, and Brian Westbrook. We'll shine on that one. This is number two, 1000. And this was like $2, so I thought this was a great pickup. This is from 2009 Bowman Chrome. Um, this is Jeremy Macklin autograph. So that's kind of what sent me down the picking up some football cards and looking through the football boxes. And well, actually, this might have been one of the last ones I found, but I was hoping to find some Eagles and I uh, was really happy to find that one. Uh, next, we have a relic. I think this was like a dollar. Um, not really a huge fan of relics. Um, I'm going to end the video with a relic, but that one's kind of different. <laughs> um, this is from 2012 Archives in the 56 design. Couldn't pass up a Billy Butler for a dollar. Uh, just a napkin, but. And then here's some more uh, autographs. And like I said, this is a segment of my collecting I've really been enjoying. Um, this one, uh, not a huge name, this is Nafi Perez. Um, didn't really have a lot of production, but ended up, I think he played like 12 years. Um, I think he won a gold glove. So this was a dollar. So um, nice autograph and, you know, really like this set in general, the signature series. And so definitely wasn't going to pass up that for a dollar. <clears throat> Here's kind of what I nicknamed my auto project, and this is literally one of them, the fan favorites autographs. Um, is it Preston Wilson? Uh, uh, shout out to my friend Bryn. Um, we set up together at the show, and I was looking through the boxes, and he came over and was looking through, and... Um, He found this card and he had in a stack of stuff, but then he put all his stuff back and I was trying to get him to buy it, but um, he just ended up saying, go ahead and buy it then. So I think this was like $2 or 250 So with the connection to, you know, him being on it, I don't believe he is anymore, but he used to be on MLB Network, which is cool with the Eric Burns. Was a master of the web gym for a couple of years there. And on card autograph too, so that was nice. Uh, here's another. Well, this is actually from the archives. 
signatures. Um, this is a Lenny Dykstra, kind of hard to see. Not the greatest card they chose, the dark background. And, but um, I mean, on these, it's <clears throat> I kind of almost, I don't know about the numbering. I mean, they're just, they're buybacks and then they're just stamping them. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, they might have did 52, uh, 94, I believe, Bowman, but I'm sure there are a lot of other ones, but I don't know, I guess, I guess anything serial numbered better than not, but <laughs> just kind of arbitrary to, I mean, but just happy with that autograph in general. Uh, this one I thought was really cool. I think this was $10. This came from my LCS. And I mean, for... It's from 2020. And what this product... I mean, it's easily, I think, somewhere between two or $300 now for two cards. And so to be able to get, you know, one of the hits for 10 bucks, and, you know, one of the probably harder to maybe not harder to pull, but while we're numbered, the golden graphs here, and sometimes they don't work that great in the gold or silver um, marker pens, but that one actually, <clears throat> it's usually a lot thicker, like, I don't know if he just wrote with it a different way, or if it was a thinner tip, but just, uh, that one just came out really nice. These cards are insanely thick. But, um, just another guy who's been really good for a while there. Uh, this card was actually... I actually was going to bring it up in... Um, bring this up in my vintage uh, video recap, but... Um, so my other friend that kind of sets up with us sometimes, Scott, um, he let me know ahead of time he picked up a huge lot of uh, 1978 Topps cards and was making sets out of them and stuff and asked if I'd like a starter set. And I said, sure, and giving it to me for a great price in general. But then um, I went through the remainder of what I had of my Bryce Harper collection, and um, he usually brings his youngest son along with him, and uh, he collects Harper so we ended up doing a, a pretty decent deal um so I got that box and then this other small box so it's 684 cards from the 1978 top set um this is what he was missing and then with what I had already um and some of these were, I don't know the numbers off the top of my head, but some of them were the George Brett and the Robin Yale. Uh, a couple of the, I know, the Jack Morris and the Dale Murphy rookie. <clears throat> so, uh, it was 684 cards. Um, so it was kind of funny. It almost ended up like a, I think I traded them 68 Bryce Harpers. Um, some refractors and stuff, but nothing not much like numbered or anything um but some nice stuff and then uh ended up trading those for that partial set and this raleigh fingers auto from i believe this is 2014 yep panini national treasures numbered to 25 always like the look of these hall of fame autographs I believe National Treasure started in 2012. I don't think they did one in 13. So I know the design in 2012 is nice too, but with on card and everything, this design is really nice too. So ended up getting that and the partial set. I need 32 cards yet for 78 tops. So that's pretty exciting. <laughs> um, and lastly, this is, let me take it to the magnetic. So I said I don't normally collect relics, um, but 
but this is a guy I have a small PC of. I don't know why for sure. I think I just started following him on Twitter and just seems like a good dude. <laughs> um, he's um, been, I think, a very consistent, reliable pitcher for a long time. And I just started, I don't have anything crazy. This is by far the best card I have of him, but um, Adam Wainwright from the Cardinals. And uh, another one of my friends that sets up at the show, Ian. Uh, I don't even know how. He had three. These are from Triple Threads. He had three different patch cards. Um, this is the like Unity one that's just a single patch window. But then he had two of the ones that are like the triple ones. And I forget what the word said for sure. But they both had patches. And I think one was numbered at a nine and one numbered to six. But this one is numbered to three. Um, shout out to Andy at D's Collection. Um, I know he is a Cardinals fan. Um, really like his channel. Um, I know he has, I believe last I looked like 50, 60 subscribers, I think. So, um, if you're not subscribed to him, go check him out. <clears throat> but, um, I know he will definitely love this one. Um. Like I said, not usually a fan of relics, but um, he had the three different ones, and I just asked what he wanted, and I thought it was going to be more. Um, we had done some deals in the past, trading and stuff, and worked with each other well, so he just said, you pick which one you want for 20 bucks, and I couldn't turn that one down, so I did take the lowest numbered one, but... I thought it was the best looking one too. I like the how the blue looks there, and uh, so I said, don't do many relics, but really, really happy. I just think this card is just—I just really love this look of this card. It, the foil there, and just nice big chunky patch. So, not something I'll probably do a lot going forward. If anything, I, if I do pick up any relics, I kind of feel like I'd maybe chase more of these triple thread ones just because I, I always like the designs and just think they're always cool, especially if they have the patches in them. So, but yeah, so that's it for this video and for my pickups. Thank you for um, following along, just having a blast in the hobby. I mean, <clears throat> like I said, I had some pickups from eBay and then stopped at the LCS and just got to dig through some boxes for a little bit. And then it's really always a fun time at the shows I go to, just especially with, like I said, the people you, friends you have and go with and share the experience with. And then also, um, you know, different people I met through there and uh, always willing to deal with you and give you good prices and stuff just because of, you know, having the back and forth sometimes and sometimes one person wins, sometimes maybe the other person wins, but just overall just a really fun experience and just all of, what it's all about, just enjoying and having fun in this hobby. So um, I appreciate everyone for watching. Um, thank you for watching. And just remember any card can be a great looking card, even if it has four soft corners. Thank you.